exploitation rights which, through copyright, give authors control over their works and the uses that can be made of them. Thus, if for example you want to use a photo from the internet in your blog, you need to obtain written permission from the author. Does it benefit the author? Not always, sometimes copyright is too restrictive and often hinders the dissemination of the work. On the other hand, the duration of exploitation rights has been progressively extended, making reuse more difficult. And this is in contradiction with a society where technological advances facilitate the reproduction and dissemination of culture and knowledge. And where artworks are adaptations of other works. In this situation, already in the 80s, some activists and thinkers began to propose alternatives to copyright such as free software, copyleft and the use of licenses. At the beginning of the 21st century, the movement for open access to scientific literature appears. And almost simultaneously, Creative Commons is created, a non-profit corporation that provides open licenses for authors to facilitate the general public's access to their works by indicating what uses they allow and under what conditions. Creative Commons licenses provide an alternative to copyrights all rights reserved, respecting copyright and intellectual property laws. So they have become a legal framework of the movement for open access and open science. We are talking about a paradigm shift, to protect what is mine to now share and reuse it. Creative Commons licenses are made up of four elements or conditions. By, attribution. This condition is present in all Creative Commons licenses, therefore, we must cite the author. NC, non-commercial, we are not allowed to gain financial benefit. ND, no derivatives. We cannot create and distribute a derivative work without asking permission from the author. SA, share alike. We must use the same license if we create a derivative work. This condition is intended to disseminate Creative Commons licenses. By combining the four conditions above, there are six licenses that you can use in your works. They range from CCBY, the most permissive, to CCBY and CND, the most restrictive. BYSA is the license recommended by the UAB to submit your thesis to the DDD and TDX and is also the license used in Wikipedia. Which Creative Commons license to choose? To choose a license you can use a simple tool on the Creative Commons website based on a couple questions about how you would like people to use your work. The license is chosen depending on your answers. Your work is yours and you can put whatever license you want on it. And you can also draft an ad hoc license. But choosing a Creative Commons license has many advantages. They are free, legal, easy to understand and obtain and are an internationally recognized standard. They allow you to maintain copyright. They fight plagiarism. They provide more dissemination and visibility to your works. They allow you to decide the conditions under which you want others to use your work. There are also benefits for everyone. They let you know what you can do with someone else's work. They increase cooperation and dissemination of knowledge. They are a balance between the rights of authors and users.